Okay, so here we have the little mechanical keyboard, or what I thought was a mechanical keyboard. It turns out it isn't. I don't know if you can see that in there, but that is like a flex membrane circuit board. And this little plastic piece that looks like a switch is actually just a guide, and this is just a plunger. Pressing on a rubber dome. There must be something else to it, because it does seem to have a tactile feedback, unlike um, your normal sort of rubber mush keyboards, which is just like, you need to press it and it feels really stodgy. So it's about a step up from that, but it is not a true mechanical keyboard. Hence the term semi-mechanical semi keys, I suppose, as they call them. Semi-mechanical, is what it said on the box. Um, but it's far better than the sort of keyboards you get from like PC World that are like £60 for like a rubber mush, generic Microsoft keyboard. And it's just like, it looks like it was designed in like 2001 or something like that. Oh, the cat wants to go out. Ah, silly little cat. She's so naughty. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's not the same as uh, the crappy PC World keyboards you get. Curry's PC World in the UK. I don't know if anyone has been in there, but it's pretty diabolical, to be totally honest. Some stuff's okay, but like graphics cards and computer hardware, it's just diabolical. They don't have very anything. You're pretty much stuck to online for that. Um, there's Nexus in Culture Stuff, which is far better than PC World for um, computer hardware. But yeah, this. Um, this keyboard isn't bad, but it's not a true mechanical £30 keyboard we thought it might be. But for first quid, it's pretty decent. As I said, you've got a picture of Bigfoot on fire there. Look, I think he's just meant to be really furry, but it looks like he's on fire. So that's what we're going to say. Um, that concludes the video of the um, little... Well, no, it doesn't. There's uh, something I've missed, although everyone probably already knows this anyway. Um, I know I did. I knew about it on, my, on other keyboards, but of course, other people might not. So if you press FN plus a number, it changes the lighting effect. Look at that. Can't do it on camera, you sort of like... Oh yeah, FM, sorry, not FM, press a number, FM plus a function key or a number. Depending on which number it is, it seems to change it. But otherwise, it's a function key. I can't really reach them very well off on camera, I'm afraid. As for uh, taking this thing apart, guys, unfortunately, it's all like fully sealed underneath. You can take the keys off, but that's about it. It's basically a sealed unit. You can take the um, palm rest off of it, but that's about it. I think it's glued together or plastic welded together, one of the two. Anyway, that concludes this video of the little keyboard. Hope you like it. See you next time. I've got plenty more computer stuff to review.